Yeah, good luck with that. Now the good food continues because Marcus is here with the ultimate winter warm-up. Marcus, I hate to say the C word live on air, but it smells like Christmas round here. <laughs> it's Christmas, but it's just all the flavours and colours. I think this time of year is my favourite time, sort of like autumn, winter, and you've got the flavours, the colours. And for me, like when you get the colours and the flavours, it makes the food taste better and everything just sort of comes together. So you have got this incredible root vegetable soup. You can use any vegetables in this as well, so it's a great one. And you've got Ooh. cheesy garlic bread. You can obviously get straight in Obviously. There now, Josie's favorites. got a chunky one. She oh, has, yeah. So I, I, I normally blitz my soups and get them nice and smooth. And I was <laughs> explaining to Josie Ellen, she went, well, I like a bit of texture. I like it chunky. I like my soup. So I was like, OK, I like fine. A smooth one. So we have done a, a chunky smooth, soup. I got a chunker. I never, so basically I never, basically I never really sit there and make yeah. a soup. But when, you know, when I get given one, oh, I'm like, it's, Why do I not do this more? Yeah, and also, I think the great thing about soup is it can be a meal at any time of the day. It's mm. easy, you can pack loads of flavour into it. It's just delicious. So it's one of my favourite things. Now, the main thing to start off with is the base. So when we're creating any dishes and any... We think about flavour, always in the base, we go onion, garlic, a touch of celery if you have it. If you haven't got celery, don't worry too much. And just start to get the flavours working together in the pan. So this is now oh. cooking down, sweating down, getting lovely. And then we've got other vegetables we've got here. So we've got some butternut squash. Pumpkin would be perfect, because, of course, we've just finished Halloween. Yeah. You've got Lovely. the pumpkin. As long as it's got no candle wax in it, absolutely yeah. fine. <laughs> Don't want that. You can get that in there. But pumpkin is delicious in flavour. And it's in season for not just up to now. You know, we're still, still through season through December as well. So get some of those. Get them in there. Um, I've used some sweet potato, mm. carrots. You can use celeriac parsnips. Anything you've any, got. Basically anything, yeah. And of course you can make this in advance and actually freeze it down. It's just so good. You can have it as a nice warming cup, a big bowl. This is so um, nice. I mean, just so, so nice. Yeah. I'm so full up. Oh, it's because you had all that <laughs> lovely ginger cake earlier from April. <laughs> so oh, okay. This is like so a greedy. double treat for you today. You've got like dessert first <laughs> and then savoury after. That's like my heaven, to be fair. And I don't mean to be funny, but I know there's a massive storm going on. This is the perfect food you want to yeah. be sat in. This is, with. yeah. And I just, I think soup is one of like, when, I, when I'm teaching people to cook, my favourite thing, and the first thing I always teach them to cook is a soup. Sounds daft, but if you can do one thing, learn how to make a good soup because you can turn it into purees, you can mm. use it as accompaniments to dishes. You've got, I mean, so many different flavours, ingredients, you can use that waste. I mean, there's just, like a soup is just the perfect thing. And it is a meal, remember, you know, so like yeah. you have this, a little bit of and bread. And it's good for you. All those flavours. Yes, so I've added my vegetables in, and then the only thing I'm going to add in there as well is some vegetable stock. Now you can use vegetable stock, you could you know, add a bit of meat stock in there if you wanted. It's entirely up to you. And just bring it to the boil, and then let it cook, and I reduce it down so you get quite a nice thick mixture. Now, I've made this lovely cheesy garlic bread. There we go. You've got salt. Go. Which you can't, you know, you oh. can't have, like, a soup without a nice bit of cheesy oh, I'm garlic gonna, bread. I'm going to have a go just... on cheesy garlic right, bread. So I'm going to just slide that off. That's come straight out of the oven. Go. This is, this is oh. proper cheesy garlic bread as well. That is, I mean, that, just look at that. I mean, I could just have that on my own as a sandwich. It's just delicious. I'm going to cut that into a few chunks. And anything, really, I mean, like the flavour... When you're making garlic butter, super easy to do. So I've got lucky, some ciabatta here. I could really dribble right now. <laughs> this is I'm enjoying on, it that much. coming down your chin, it's mm. fine. That's, that's why you get the beard, because you've got the beard. So Poor Elisa Dixon, there. though. When we interview her, she's going to be knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. That's good for That is really garlic. That is so stunning. I do... My, my favourite easiest way of making garlic butter is simply soft room temperature butter. Yeah. Yeah, just great raw garlic in. I like it raw because... Raw garlic. This, yeah, pers I mean, I know yeah. it's not the greatest if you sit and interviewing someone, but it's got a lovely flavour to it and it's quite spicy almost. So you mix that in and then I add a little bit of chives and some parsley in here. And that then makes your garlic butter. Now you can make this in advance, you can pop it in the freezer, it's great to top onto vegetables, it's great to top into soups. You can you know, use it as your base of ingredients. There's so many different things. So that literally is mixed in. But the other one that's quite nice is this. Now, if you don't like the garlic too strong, I love a you can garlic. roast it. And if you roast it in the oven, I've just taken the top off, put a bit of oil, and you can literally just, I'm going to show you, look, you can just... Oh. Oh, look at that. I don't that. know why, but that, I Oof. love watching that. That feels so and good to I'm watch. Gonna, I'm just going to have a little smell of that. No, that's a bit weird, but basically oh, it's, it's milder. So because it's roasted... Well. Go on, yeah, you have right. a squeeze. Oh, There's a bit in there, I'm sure. Good look, look, get the that. music. Look. <laughs> look. Oh, You've got to find oh, one look. of those clothes. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, it's gone everywhere. That feels nice. That's another level. Oh, I mean, that would I be. Uh, you just my music. That's going viral. <laughs> 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 Someone put some special music on. First, it was pouring salted caramel sauce, now it's squeezing garlic. <laughs> out of the so, lots. Of, you've got to go with lots of garlic butter, you know, at the end of the day, add it all in. And then all you do is just top any selection of cheese, but a nice mature cheddar, grated on top. Go for a chunky grate. Top this on, 
and then literally that just goes into your oven and that is your mixed done. That's so exactly simple. simple. So yeah. super easy and super simple. And I'm going to give you a top I little tip for blitzing. So once this is all cooked down... And does that need to be cool when you blitz it? Um, so, no, depends on the blender. So you can have, obviously, a little bit of air. So, yes, normally, if it's a pressurised blender, don't put anything hot in. Yeah. It can be quite dangerous. Uh, I just saw that, I think, on MasterChef the other day. Someone did it very... Yeah, it's not an ideal situation. But most of the blenders now have a sort of, like, a little lid on top. And you can then put it into a blender, reduce it down, go thicker rather than thinner, and then you can just... Blitz this up until it's lovely and smooth, right? Or and you've got this lovely or, a bit chunky, or chunky, a bit chunky. In which case you wouldn't need to put it in the blender at all. But to make it smooth, my top tip, if you want really silky, lovely, delicious, a little bit of fat, so a touch of oil or a touch of butter, just in there, blitz it up, and then season it to taste. Super easy to do. Just get your spoon, have a little taste. Is it seasoned? Is it balanced? Oh, delicious, obviously. Mm. <laughs> Look at that, straight in there. <laughs> I know, I know we're hosting this morning, but oh. I don't really care. And then I'm just going to sit and eat. Oh, you've lovely. also got, I did a little, just a little finish on the top of there. So you've actually got some roasted yeah. butternut squash or pumpkin seeds. So little people think of the waste, but actually these, a little bit of cinnamon, touch of sugar, tiny bit of salt, roasted in the oven. You can have them as a little snack. <laughs> <laughs> just noticed my head just crept into the shop then. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Get oh. in there. And then, so good. I mean, it's just like, so you've got everything. You can put the, sure, the seeds on top of there and then you've got the... It's done him. Lovely. Marcus, Marcus, thank you so Bain. much. Oh, my God. He's done it again, Not the beat machine. The oh, wow. Thank you very much. Thank oh, you. Now, oh, if you delicious. fancy recreating Marcus's delicious soup, head to our This Morning app for the recipe details. Now,